Hey, love, praise the God you're still here. Are you okay? Did he get you at all? No. You're all still in one piece. What a relief. No, I'm not crying. Maybe a bit. I just... When we got separated in the forest, I thought... It doesn't matter what I thought. You're here. Alive. You're in my arms again. I've got you. I'm never letting you go. Why? You know why. Because I'm madly in love with you. Though, now that you've saved the world, I'm sure you have lots of suitors, like the royal heir. <clears throat> really? You love me too? No, I don't doubt you. I just hadn't allowed myself to hope before this. You've been fighting this battle for so long on your own. Now it's finally over. The warlock is dead, and the world is an ending. And you, the savior, what will you do now? I'm serious. What do you want to do? We could go somewhere. The sea, perhaps. I know you've never seen the coast before. The water is clear, like a jewel. And it sparkles when the sun hits it just right. Me? I'm sure the royal guard will release me. And if they don't, then I'll resign. Hey, it's fine. Being a knight means nothing if I can't be by your side. Besides, I could do other things. Maybe be a merchant, or a mercenary, or just... who knows. We can worry about it tomorrow. For right now, I just want to kiss you and hold you. I'm sure even now the royal guard has come to take you to the palace to shower you with rewards. But for this moment, you're mine, and I won't share you. Sweetheart, are you well? No, you just look pale. Look at me. Love, what is it? You're crying. Are you hurt? No. Then what is... Love, look at me. Stay with me. What is it? What did he do? You... did what? No, no you didn't. You couldn't have, because that spell would have... No, you didn't cast it. Please tell me you didn't. I know all magic comes with a price, but this price... No, 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 stay awake. Keep your eyes on me. Help was coming. I know it is. Healer! I need a healer! Love, you can't leave me. You saved the world, but if you leave, my world will end. You are my world, sweetheart. I had all these plans for us. I want to travel the world with you. I want to marry you. Yeah, I do. I know I'm doing this much too quickly. I should court you. When you overword poems and songs. Be a knight like in the stories. But if you leave me now, I won't be able to do any of that. Please. Please don't go. Fight. Don't let that warlock get the last laugh. Please. I love you. I've got you. I won't let go. I won't let go. Well, well, well. Isn't this a surprise? <laughs> what? What? You thought that you killed me. Well, you did. In a sense. But part of me lives on in that magic I cast with my final breath. It's not much, but it allows my spirit to linger just a bit. I had to see what became of the Chosen One. And you don't disappoint. A bit worse for wear, though. Casting that kind of magic will do that to you, though. Trust me, I would know. Relax, would you? I can't harm you here. I mean, you're dead. It's over. 
tell me. Did you know you would die before or after you fell in love with your knight? Because you are either the stupidest person I've ever met, or you're the cruelest. Such tragedy. Lovers torn apart for the sake of the greater good. How noble. How very, very good of you. And what has that goodness got you? Dying in your lover's arms. Oh, how he wails over you. Begging the gods to heed his prayers. The fool. God left us long ago. I had to finally silence him. Thank goodness for the small bit of magic left. Oh, child. Don't look at me like that. I won't harm him. I couldn't, even if I wanted to. We're on the plane in betwixt life and death. You fool. He's safely in the physical realm, away from my hands. And yours. I couldn't harm your precious love even if I wanted to. So, how does it feel? You saved the world! Huzzah! Oh, look at you. So upset. So petulant. Like a child. What did you expect to happen? You just waltz off into the sunset with your lover? <sighs> Nothing ever works out like that, I'm afraid. But hey, it's all over now. Now you and I can just sit here and fade into the darkness together. What? Now you ask me that. Fool. I wanted this world to end because it took everything I ever loved. You think I was born evil? No. I had a family and a life. I just couldn't keep it. It doesn't matter how. That was centuries ago. My dear, it's a bit late to reform the villain, don't you think? Do you actually even care about me? Did you even spare a thought for me aside from how can I kill this warlock? Of course you didn't. Because I was the warlock, and you were the chosen one. Fate cast us into our roles. Please come back. Don't leave me here. <laughs> and there he goes again. So annoying. No, there's nothing you can do to comfort him. You're dead. The sooner he realizes it, the better. No hex of true love here, thank you very much. What kind of a question is that? I mean, here you are, dead, and you're asking me about my hobbies. <sighs> you really are too nice for your own good, aren't you? Well, if you must know, I enjoyed baking. If I had destroyed this world, perhaps I would have remade it into one where bakers were treated like royalty. So, why aren't you crying? You can't truly be at peace with all of this. You shared one kiss with your true love after waging a war for two years to save a world that you can no longer be a part of. Why aren't you screaming? Or cursing out the gods. Something other than this mild sadness. Me? Of course I'm pissed. I didn't want to die. But I lived for centuries more than you. So, 
I suppose it's not too much of a shock for me. But you... You're quite young, and quite fair. In another life, perhaps you could have danced with nobles in dazzling ballrooms. In another life, I... I don't know. Maybe if I hadn't seen my village burn to the ground before my eyes, my parents slaughtered, and my true love sent off to war, perhaps I would have been more like you. <sighs> but life didn't work out that way. No sense in having regrets. <sighs> Listen. For what it's worth, I didn't truly view you as my enemy. You were more like a thorn in my side, an annoyance. <laughs> really? You're joking? Not once did you think about who I would be, just all the rumors spread by the kingdom. <laughs> uh, I played the part of the villain perfectly then. More, please. He's a stubborn knight, isn't he? I mean, does he truly think that shouting at your body will cause your silent heart to start beating again? <laughs> yes, I suppose people do crazy things when in love. Still, nothing will change. It shouldn't be long now. Can you feel it? Your tether on reality. Slowly drifting away. Ah, now the tears come. Take heart, dear. Soon you won't even remember your own name, let alone who you left behind. Huh? You're apologizing. To me? Whatever for? All I did was wish for your misery. I tried to kill you. Multiple times. And in the end, I succeeded. Well, I mean, I died too, but... Oh well. Oh, hush. Okay. Alright. You win. I might have told a little lie. This bit of magic I had left over. Not really a bit. It's enough to bring me back to life. Maybe not with as much power as I had, but still. Still, I want you to have it. No, I have nothing left in this world. Perhaps the next one I find myself in will be better. But you do have something. You have someone! Even now, he's calling for you. I can hear the pain in his voice. I must admit, even I cannot stand in the way of such devotion. Here. Take this pendant, I insist. Take it! The magic within will return you to your life. Use it well. Love those who are precious to you. Protect what matters. And maybe bake a cake just to remember me by. Kind? No, no. I'm still a villain through and through. I'm just sentimental. Now go. He's waiting for you. Best not to keep him waiting in such torment. Goodbye, chosen one. I found you. Forgive me. The king demanded an audience. 
They tell me they put you in this room and I... I'm here. I'm here, my love. I wouldn't have let them take you from me, but it seemed I had no choice in the matter. But I'm here. I'm not leaving you again, love. Before all this, you asked me once about my childhood. I'm sorry I never got to finish the story before, but I'll do so now. I was six when I decided to become a knight. I uh, saw some knights returning from the battlefield in the capital. Their armor was dented, their horses' hooves caked in mud, and yet they seemed so at peace, like nothing could ever rattle them. And when one girl nearly got trampled by a horse, the knight captain didn't even hesitate. He dove for her and saved her life. And then I remember thinking, yeah, that's what I want to do. Protect people. When I was originally assigned to this mission, I thought I was woefully underqualified. I had been on a few quests here and there, but there were plenty of other knights who were more experienced or better with bows or swords. I was going to ask them to reconsider, but then I saw you. I had heard of you, of course. I mean, everyone heard about the Chosen One, the one who would save our world. But it was different when I saw you, like a bolt of lightning, electrifying all my senses. I knew. I knew I had to go with you, to be with you. My fate was tied to yours. I... I thought I would die protecting you. I almost fell when I defended you from that demon. Its claws ripped into my side, crushing my armor. I hit the ground and then you were there, hands glowing, healing me. You looked like an angel, the light going around you. It wasn't until later that I saw that horrible bruise on your side, the price of you using your magic to save me. I knew, of course. That all magic came with a price. That's why mages were so highly respected. And why they often died young. But seeing that bruise, my bruise, marring your skin, I hated it. I resolved never to let you do that again. <sighs> but you kept pushing forward. You wanted to stop the warlock. We all knew that if we failed, the world would end. There was a voice, though in the back of my head, asking, at what price? At what price would it cost to keep all wool turning? But you just smiled. You told me that everything would work out. I loved you then, but I kept hiding it. I was scared to say those words to you, like it would ruin everything or cause some sort of misfortune. Or maybe I already knew what the price would be. Maybe part of me was trying to steal myself for what would be coming. Your smile. The way you cheerfully kept going. Even as the situations grew more and more dire. People died in your name, and I know it gutted you. You begged the gods to tell you why you were chosen. One fun of others, you tried to be cheerful. I saw the cracks, though. And I should have done something. Anything. Because I could see the signs. I could tell what was coming, but I foolishly hoped. <sighs> when we were separated, as we approached the Warlock's castle, I tried to find you. I knew it was your battle and yours alone, but I felt like I could just be by your side. I could, I don't know, change fate. We could get one of those endings in the old fairy tales. And when you said you loved me too, my heart soared. It was the happiest moment of my life. A moment where I felt like the most powerful man in the kingdom. And then blood dribbled from your lips. You knew the price of that spell. You knew the huge amount of mana it would take. And you also knew you were the only one who could cast it. Is that why you didn't tell me? Were you afraid I would stop you? If I'm being honest, I might have. I might have asked you to doom the world for love, but you didn't tell me. And now, you're lying here on this cot. Dead. 
They're going to give you a royal burial with so much pomp and circumstance that would rival those of the ancient kings. The heir said they wish to honor you, as if that would make everything okay. Please, my love, tell me you only sleep. Tell me that you've not gone somewhere I cannot follow. Your lips are still rosy, and I can just picture you smiling at me. They tell me that's because you're the chosen one, that not even death himself can ravage your body. But he still took your spark. Those eyes I've seen light up with joy remain shut. I wish it had been me. I would have gladly died for you. Even now, if it would bring you back, I would do so in a heartbeat. I wish, I wish I had told you sooner. I wish I had protected you better. I wish, I wish for many things. But the gods remain silent to my pleas. The mages tell me that you're gone. And that tomorrow you'll be put in the royal tomb. Shut away from my sight. I'm sorry. Fuck, I'm so sorry. I failed you, love. I will never forgive myself for this. For the rest of my existence, I will always picture your smile in my mind's eye. And one day, I hope to find you on the other side. What the devil is this? That body is glowing. What? You're... Breathing? I thank the gods you've returned. How? How is this possible? You were gone, and now you're... Huh? The warlock? Impossible. And yet, you're here. I thought... You heard me. Everything? Of course I meant everything. Every word, every syllable, I just... Are you really here? This isn't just some dream. I'm so relieved. No, no, my love, these are happy tears, I assure you. I thought I lost you. Yes, I can feel it. Your heartbeat. So steady, so strong. It's a miracle. You're a miracle, my love. And if it's as you say, and that warlock did save you, then I owe him my thanks. My eternal thanks. I shall pray that his spirit finds peace. Oh, my love. Shh, I know, I know. I've got you. You're in my arms. I have you. This isn't a dream. This is a new beginning. A new chapter. You don't have to be defined as the chosen one anymore, my love. We can find a new path. Together. Yes, we'll be together. That is what you want, right? Yes, I thought so. Me? Love, isn't it obvious? Wherever you choose to go, I shall be there by your side. Forever, my love.